Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Arnabhi Mitra and currently I am working in Amazon as a software developer engineer. And today I have Anirban with me who started his journey as a software engineer uh, from TCS. And then he cracked four companies and currently he is in Velocio working as a full stack developer. So hi Anirban, how are you? Hi Arnabhi, I am good. How are you? Yeah, I'm also good. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So, uh, as you have already mentioned, I am currently working in Velocio as a full stack uh, developer. So, my tech stack over there is uh, in backend, I use Node.js, uh, Postgres, uh, and MySQL. And uh, in front end, I work with main, majorly in React, but as a, but I can I also have some small projects uh, in line in Angular. So, that's my job role day to day. Okay. So from TCS to uh, four companies you crack. So would you like to tell us what are the company names and in which position you applied and what was your role and how you cracked? Uh, so like uh, the previous, uh, the companies which I have cracked, uh, so uh, uh, the source of those uh, companies were from either Nokri or either LinkedIn. This, uh, th from these two sources, I got the uh, offers from one convert card and another one was uh, Lean AI and another one was Soroko and uh, API Zero. These four companies, uh, apart from Velocio, I cracked. So some companies were uh, some companies were offering either backend role back in i mean node.js role or either in front end or uh, in front end they used to offer me either angular or react okay so among them you have chosen uh, velocio so can you tell me why you chosen uh, velocio any particular reason or it's a full stack role only that's why yeah, the full stack is one of the reason I, I will say and uh, uh, because like I believe uh, uh, in uh, uh, I mean the initial stage of our career we should explore as much as possible. So being a full stack developer I can explore both the front end and back uh, back end and later later uh, time I can uh, go with any one of it. So that's the reason. Okay. So you started from TCS, which is a service-based company. And as you mentioned that you cracked this many companies and in various roles, uh, somewhere front-end, somewhere back-end and uh, in Velocio full-stack developer role. So how you managed to prepare uh, all the things, all the tech stack and uh, how was like uh, work in the TCS, uh, is, uh, does it help you or do you prepare uh, by your own? So would you like to talk about that? Yeah, sure. So in TCS, I was, uh, uh, I, I got work in a power platform domain. So basically it's a drag and drop uh, tool by which we can develop web apps very first. Uh, so like in this framework, uh, if we want to develop anything out of the box, so we used to have power app component framework and also SharePoint uh, framework. So in these two frameworks, uh, the JavaScript was used intensively. So that was my uh, starting point for, for towards JavaScript. And since uh, I was getting exposure in JavaScript, so uh, getting exposure in Angular, React, and Node was quite easy for me. So that helped, definitely. And also, apart from my work, I used to uh, watch a lot of Udemy videos because Udemy access was free in TCS. Okay. So that's how my journey started. And also like uh, for DS, I, I mean, in all the companies that I have mentioned earlier, uh, there was some DSA rounds and for that DSA round also like uh, Udemy has certain number of courses and also YouTube has also a lot of resources. So that's how I prepared. Okay, so mainly uh, DSA and uh, front end, back end, uh, this kind of tech stack you mostly prepared and then uh, like uh, you crack this uh, companies. Yes, right. So would you like to tell about your like preparation strategy, how you prepared, how much time you required and what was like your goal? Yeah, so like, uh, so, like uh, in a week, uh, I used to divide like uh, someday I, I, I will study DSA and someday I will study uh, 
the development part so like uh, dsa is uh, pretty normal like uh, the uh, other uh, companies so the, the but the development part like first i i started with uh, normal html css and javascript but i just developed uh, a few simple web pages using these three things only and when i was a bit, uh, little bit comfortable with html css and javascript uh, concepts uh, afterwards i moved towards uh, angular and uh, like uh, then i just uh, i also uh, learned uh, the back end part as well so that's how i started okay so as you mentioned that you applied through nokri.com so that must be you have applied through your uh, cv and then uh, you got the call so you must have a good portfolio so would you like to share like how you worked on your cv and what are the projects you worked because after learning you must have done some projects and those things are actually uh, played a good role in your cv so would you like to share those things yeah sure so like as i have already said like html css javascript is the basic for all type of things okay so i just uh, learned those concepts and uh, okay. basic designings so after learning basic designing and javascript uh, so i made a couple of projects only based on html css javascript when i was uh, very much comfortable with these three things i jumped to the um, instack course uh, which is uh, like uh, available on udemy i completed that and along with i just made the project that they were uh, explaining uh, in their videos and also after uh, completed that project and those videos i made a uh, project from scratch uh, like uh, so that helped me a lot uh, and after a learning mean stack uh, as i was uh, lo looking out for other opportunities so i i think not i noticed one thing like uh, react is very much popular nowadays so i yes. learned react as well so that's how i my preparation went Okay, so like you started from basic things like HTML, CSS, and then moved on to uh, main stack and also learn React. Mm -hmm. So th that's how like you uh, you have prepared your uh, CV. Yeah. So the next question I want to add that uh, there are uh, many people in my audience who want to uh, switch. They are stuck in service based company. Also, there are many freshers. So would you like to give any uh, tips or suggestion from your end? So the preparation varies from uh, product based uh, to startup. So, yes. but there is one thing in common that will be uh, DSA. But the uh, level of DSA will differ uh, depending on the company you are applying for. So, uh, so with the DSA uh, uh, in your startup, uh, you have also be very much good in uh, pro like uh, development skills. So I will, uh, as I have already done, uh, you too should like. Uh, add uh, two to three projects on the technologies you are applying for and uh, i i want to like add one more point when i was transitioning from a uh, from the tcs to the to, to my uh, velocio so at that phase like i faced few difficulties which i like to uh, highlight one is for, yes. uh, one is like uh, my lack of knowledge in github and another one was the lack of knowledge in typescript because in javascript the uh, there is no type safety and which makes yes. the javascript uh, code quite uh, unreadable so if you are very good, much uh, comfortable with these technologies first then i will suggest you to uh, visit the basic concepts of github and as well as the typescript it will just make your transition uh, a lot sm smoother that's all from from my side okay. thank you all. Okay, so thank you, uh, Anirban, to, uh, for uh, coming in my channel. So, if anyone wants to connect with uh, you, so or, uh, how they can connect uh, with you? Yeah, I am available on LinkedIn and I am quite active over there as well. So, they can connect with me. Okay, so I will put your LinkedIn ID in my description. They can connect with you. So, thank you for coming and giving all your advice and uh, sharing your journey. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Anirban, for inviting me. For today. Oh, thank you. Thank you.